welcome, Sarah here from Red Rocking Bird. A little while ago I did some clay pins, air dry clay pins. So today for the Christmas market, the live, I'm going to do Christmas pins that you could also use as key rings, little hair slides, anything. So I come prepared with my air dry clay. So it's been on and I think I've left a bit of a trail of destruction and got pretty messy hands now. And I'm just going to carry on and paint some more of the pins and the accessories. So I roll my clay out on a tile fairly thin and then I put my templates on the top and then cut those out with a knife. And if you want those, these ones that I do here, you can find them all in the description below and you can print those out, cut them out and you can use them to cut out your little characters. If you want to see the full step-by-step -step process you can go and see my other clay pins video. I let the clay pieces dry fully and then once they were fully dry I would give them a light sand and then two coats of white acrylic paint. Then I go in with my acrylic paint again and I just paint all the little details on with a really fine little brush and I just take my time doing this normally sitting in front of the TV or watching something that I like. I'm really pleased with how this penguin's turned out I think he's really cute just add some more little tiny details in there so for some of the details I might use my fine brush or you can go in with a sharpie as I do later you've just got to be careful how you varnish it when um, you use a sharpie so that the ink doesn't bleed add in lots of tiny little details and really bring those characters to life here are the two that I did on the live they're fully dry now and we just need to take sandpaper to them and give them a good sand I probably didn't finish these off quite as well as I normally do but um, while they were wet that is but if we can give them a good sand all over the top the sides and the back then you get a lovely finish ready to paint some of these would be lovely with a nice little message in the middle so I'm simply going to write Merry Christmas here in the middle you could write any message you wish You can varnish and glaze them once you've finished. I've got another little video on how you could do that, all the different options. But once we have done them, the ones that we had a little section there to hang up on the tree, we can simply just put some ribbon through and then tie a knot and it's ready to hang on the tree. It's a nice delicate one, this one, so I will put this nice delicate ribbon through there and then tie, tie a bow and it's also ready to hang on your tree. I mentioned in the live video that I might use these to decorate the little pegs that I will hang my cards with. So you could hot glue these onto here or use some strong glue that I have here and you could simply just use them to hang hang your cards and they would look lovely if you hang them all along the length of your string it would look great so I'm going to do that with this penguin one I've got some tiny little pegs here so I'm simply going to take my extra quick trying glue here and going to just attach the peg on the back and then it's nearly good to go I have some pin backs here for the ones that I want to turn into pins or badges. So to make it stick that little bit better, I'm going to take my little bit of sandpaper and just rough up the back there. Make sure there's no dust. I'm going to take my super strong glue that dries in seconds and then place that down on there. And within a few seconds, it's stuck and there's our pin. I'm going to do that with quite a lot of them 
and then I will put them on a little card and can give some away as gifts and put them in a little cello wrap. So now this one is completely dry and ready to go, ready to thread the string through. They would look beautiful on a Christmas card as well. You could also glue some of these onto the front of a Christmas card. If you put a nice amount of hot glue under there and let it sit a little proud of the card, they would look amazing. So I've carried on painting them and here is my selection of pins and Christmas accessories. So I do hope you enjoy and do have a go at making them. They're absolutely beautiful. You can design your own or you can use mine. It's in the description below if you do want them. And if you want to see the full video of how you make them from beginning to end, I have the other video for clay pins which shows you how to make them for every single little step as we go through. And so I did really enjoy making these. I absolutely love sitting there and making them and I hope you enjoy them too. Have a wonderful Christmas and bye for now.